What's up, everybody? Jen Min here. By now, you may have realized that I've really got into this Berserk series. It was the Prime One Studio statues that really caught my eye at first. Then Dark Horse went and started publishing these deluxe editions, and I fell in love with this series, man. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about it in the comments, so I figured without spoilers, I'll talk about how you can get into the manga, how you can get into the anime, and how you can enjoy this franchise just like I do. Make sure to hit that subscribe. We're going to go ahead and give away this berserk deluxe edition volume 5 if you stay tuned to the end of the video i'll give you the details on what you got to do to enter this giveaway now you could really jump into this series by reading the manga or watching the anime whatever you prefer me i'm more of a reader so i prefer the manga and the manga covers much more than the anime do the anime have only adapted a few arcs of this series so far now, I also want to preface this by saying I didn't grow up watching anime. I didn't grow up reading manga. I've always been more of a you know cartoon guy or a comic book guy. And if you're like me, this is going to be super accessible for you. This is not going to feel like you're reaching out into some unknown type of genre. It's going to feel very familiar, I think, especially if you're someone like me who grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s uh, playing like Final Fantasy VII. A lot of the stuff here was inspiration for games like Final Fantasy VII or for Dark Souls. So I want you to get that out of your head right away that, hey, I don't read manga. I don't know if this is going to be for me. It's for you. Trust me. So the manga has been adapted into two different formats so far for the United States. The first format we're going to talk about are the individual volumes, which are smaller books, trade paperback style, soft cover books, and they have 40 volumes so far. Now this story is still ongoing, although it feels like it's nearing to an end, we don't really know when it's going to end. Each of these volumes is broken down into chapters. Some have three chapters, some may have seven, depending on the length of the chapters. So right now there have been 40 volumes that have been published and they have been releasing chapters online until there are enough chapters or pages to print out that 41st volume. So far, these individual volumes are the only way that you're gonna really be able to read as far as this story has been written so far. The other format that you can read these stories in are in these deluxe editions that are produced by Dark Horse. You guys might have seen me cover some of these on the channel, and these deluxe editions collect three of those individual volumes. So it's got a ton of chapters, three volumes in each of these deluxe editions. So if you're doing the math, there would need to be about 13 or 14 of these just to catch up to the 40 volumes. And again, we don't really know when this story is going to end. It's been going on for, what, almost 30 years now. These deluxe editions are beautifully constructed. They have oversized pages compared to those smaller soft covers that we've shown before. So this is definitely the best way to read the manga with the biggest art and just the best looking aesthetically. These retail about $50, but you can buy these on CheapGraphicNovels.com, which is one of our sponsors, at a discounted price with great packaging, fast shipping, and excellent customer service. Service. And if you mention this channel in the memo at checkout for your first order, the next order will have free shipping if you're in the United States. Now, as of this recording, the sixth deluxe edition is the most recent one to be published, and we're already seeing solicitations for volume seven. So they're getting closer to catch up to those individual volumes. I highly recommend reading the manga. They read super fast. The artwork is great, and it only progresses, and it's the only way to get the full story so far. Now, if you're not big into reading or you don't want to read manga because it's black and white and it reads from right to left, we got you covered. There are a few different adaptations that you can watch in anime form. So the first one we're going to talk about is the original anime from the 90s. This show covers the Golden Age arc plus the Eclipse, which is a huge paradigm shift in the storyline. This series has amazing artwork and incredible music. You can't go off of the theme music, although it has really grown on me. It reminds me of something that would be like in a Kevin Smith movie, but this is definitely the best uh, anime version of this story so far, and it ends during like this climatic part of the story that really just leaves you wanting more. I watched all 25 episodes right here on YouTube with no problem. You guys can just search it and watch it for yourselves. In addition to the 1997-1998 anime, there were three animated films that came out that came out from 2012 to 2013. You have Berserk, the Golden Age Arc 1, The Egg and the King, The Golden Age Arc 2, The Battle for Doldry, and the Golden Age Arc 3, The Advent. These three movies are great. They have great animation. The music is not really as good, and some of the sound effects are a little bit off. Not as good as the original anime. And it basically covers the same 
same story arcs that the 90s anime covers. It just kind of extends about one more chapter further than the 90s anime. So it's almost worth watching those three movies just to see the aftermath of the eclipse in anime form. Then we got to talk about the 2016-2017 anime, the second series or second season or whatever you want to call it. It's widely hated by the Berserk community and I can totally understand why. The animation is really good like the movie. The problem is when they do the CGI aspects, the CGI is really, really poorly done and that's really where it loses a lot of people. I think also some of the sound effects are not as good as well. Guts' huge sword, that big slab of iron, the Dragon Slayer, sounds like an aluminum pan being clanked up against another aluminum pan. It really doesn't hit for the sound effects. But if you can kind of get past that, I think it's worth watching because it goes into the Conviction arc, which was not adapted by the prior anime releases. So to me, it's really worth watching it to see that arc adapted on screen. I guess essentially you could watch the three movies and then you can watch that second series or you could watch the 90s anime and then watch the second series. Just know you're gonna be let down with that CGI and with those sound effects. Berserk is pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of different continuity issues you have to deal with. There's one storyline which you can read in either those smaller trade paperbacks or the hardcover deluxe editions. And with the anime, you can skip either the movies or the 90s anime and then just jump into the second series. Most people will tell you in the comments below will probably say, just watch the 90s anime and call it a day. I can't let you guys go without talking about Street Level Hero at SLHLA.com. They have exclusive variant comic book covers as well as merch. They do drops every Tuesday and Thursday. And you can save 10% off any item on the store by using the code GEMMINT. That's G-E-M-M-I-N-T. Just one word. They just dropped their exclusive variant for Star Wars High Republic number 2. They still have the King of Black Gwenom vs. Carnage 2 with the Carnageized Mary Jane, the regular Mary Jane trade dress, and Virgin variants. Plus they have exclusives for King and Black 2, Wolverine 9, X-Men 17, and more. You gotta check them out. They have CGC signature series and everything. So that's Street Level Hero, SLHLA.com. I hope this was helpful for you guys, man. We're gonna go ahead and give this away. I accidentally bought an extra copy when I already owned it. All you gotta do to enter into this giveaway is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below. What I'll do is once the views on this video start to taper off, I'll use a random YouTube comment generator to pull a worldwide winner on this during one of our live streams. So go ahead and leave a comment below and check out my other Berserk videos in the playlist to the right. You guys stay minty fresh. Peace.